The Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says they don't plan to refer charges after investigating why a man shot his neighbor's dogs. As our Amanda Quintana reports, Wisconsin law says the man had the right to. The son opened up the door and said, yeah, uh, we've seen them, we shot them, they're dead right there. Todd and Justin Schlender were in shock when they went to their neighbor's house looking for their puppies, Stella and Gizmo, to find out they were killed. So we asked where our dogs were, and then we went down there. All they did is put them in their burn pile, you know, moved them down to their burn pile, and then, um, yeah, and we were just both astonished. And so we, you know, brought some puppies home and buried them. The two eight-month-old Sharpays, puppies of their other dogs, dug a hole under the fence, getting into the neighbor's yard. And that's where uh, they carved a little hole over there. That's when the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office says they attacked the neighbor's goats, injuring them. The neighbor telling investigators he tried to yell at the dogs to get them to leave before he shot them. According to state statute, he has the right to, to protect his own animals on his own property. But the Schlenders believe there were so many other ways this could have been handled. It amazes me that people have the heart to shoot a dog, a, a family pet, at, you know, they're clean, they're well fed, they weren't strays. And then to put them in next to a burn pile and not even attempt to, to find the people they belong to. They say the puppies weren't aggressive and were probably just plain ultimately believing their neighbor just wanted to do harm to an animal. To fire numerous shots into the dog where Gizmo was very um, mutilated. Mutilated. Amanda Quintana reporting. The sheriff's office says animal control is still investigating. We don't know yet if charges will be filed against the dog owners. Uh,